Awesome. So we are just tutorial away from finishing this series. And if you want more, ask me more if I get a questions because questions in this channel they um, they very much. they help me to create content in this channel. So feel free to ask me in the comment section. So right now we are in the step or bar twelve. In this series, so we're gonna talk about regression analysis, and basically, regression analysis is gonna tell us, you know, whether the uh, the moderators have an effect or not. So, yeah. So basically, we're gonna look first at the data set that I had, that I have. So, the data set that I have called feedback. Just gonna view it, and yeah. So I have three moderators here: feedback, language proficiency, and publication type. I wanna know which one has an effect on the study, whether they have a positive or no effect or negative effect. So. Yeah, we're gonna learn that from the regression analysis. So I'm just gonna type the code. So FT for feedback type, and then I'm gonna say it's regress. So this is the code for this one. Typing it. And then I want the function telling R hey, I'm looking at the analysis and it tells me hey this is the formula for this one so basically I'm telling her hey this is the effect size and I want to know what the feedback type well, the feedback type has an effect on the data and then I'm gonna check in my console whether the variable has been, you know, the formula is correct or not. So let's check on the right side of the screen. So the right side says, hey, it is, this is okay, it looks okay. So we're gonna do something here. So when you with the regression analysis, use a, a function called summary. So summary, as it suggested, it produce summaries of a model that um, basically for the regression analysis. It's just been used a lot for regression analysis. So basically, this is it. We do this summary, and we say, hey, I want to know the summary of this one, call it. So say this is the summary of this one. I'm just gonna make it clear here. So it says when I look, this is the most important data for regression analysis. Well, the standard error you can see here. 3.33 is freedom and then this is the data that's the multiple square and I just R square and then when we look at the B value the B value is, is important because it says no it's not significant so this variable is not significant the F statistics we have here or something 0 0.00 so feedback type it's not if we go to the other one same thing with language proficiency I'm just gonna say LG if you have any other variable yeah 
uh, so I'm going to call this one lot as a and does it have an effect or not R I am proficiency and I would do I would write summary and then LG still R hey this is the one that I'm looking for and I want the summary let's look at this one so I look here it has a high standard error multiple square zero point point just square something negative so it's negative number every statistic but it's not significant maybe in your data maybe it's going to be significant so for this one it's not why because maybe one of the reasons is i have only seven studies maybe i need more studies to have a significant is what but that might that is this is you know uh, probability it's not too sure so just specific to this data that with this one is not wrong yeah so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and subscribe so you didn't miss um, tutorials that might be interesting for R yep so thank you and see you in another tutorial.